Ticket TV back with more sports. Uh, UFC. Um, just got finished watching this, this Ronda Rousey chick on ESPN first take this morning. I did a video earlier this morning uh, questioning whether Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith was going to ask this 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 hooker about um, this hooker Ronda Rousey about uh, her um, shitting on Floyd Mayweather uh, and basically trying to down Floyd Mayweather with his alleged uh, past domestic violence uh, accusations. When um, she, in fact, herself uh, has been dating an alleged domestic abuser named Travis Brown. Now, uh, Stephen A. Smith cooning Uncle Tom ass, as I should say, um, failed to ask this chick the real journalistic questions. Instead, he comes on and wants to kiss her motherfucking ass, just like I thought he would, toting the company line. The same thing is... Skip Bayless trying to bait this hoe into shitting on Floyd Mayweather, which I'm going to talk about in a different video. Um, her reply to Skip Bayless is uh, trying to bait her into shitting on Floyd. Now, um, and she wasn't stupid. That hoe didn't take the bait. She wasn't no motherfucking idiot because she knew what was coming. So, um, or she knew what could have potentially have came. Which wouldn't have come on that show, but what would have came all in the in the eyes of the public and motherfuckers like myself who gonna hit the web and exp and continue to expose this hoe, you know? Um, but like I said, man, Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith, they didn't surprise anybody. They went on there and they basically, you know, kissed her ass, asked her easy questions, gave her a motherfucking pass, didn't ask her about her. As much as Stephen A. Smith sits on that show and talks about all these black players and all these black athletes, that are smoking weed and getting suspended for weed. When you just was talking that shit the other week about Ronda Rousey, Stephen A. Smith, about how she might have been smoking some weed in her past and how she, it was ridiculous for her to come out and defend a guy who got suspended five years in the UFC for smoking weed. It's kind of fucking ridiculous that you didn't bring that up when you got her in your face. You didn't ask her about that shit since y'all are face to face. I mean, you are supposed to be a reporter. You are supposed to be a journalist. You are supposed to report the facts. But, you know, we're not going to get that shit because once again, these motherfuckers are bought and paid for. Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless, two of a kind, two of a motherfucking kind. I'm telling you, and the shit got to stop somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. It has to stop, man, because this woman spent all of her pre-fights, the last fight, and all of the Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao pre-fight promoting herself, shitting on Floyd Mayweather. Then they came out with this, she's the highest paid fighter. No, if you want to talk about fighter, okay, they trying to put it as a category to make it seem like, you know, they're not going to say boxer because she ain't nowhere near Floyd Mayweather money, baby. Let's get that right. But they want to open up talking about, oh, she's the highest paid fighter in the world. And not just women, but in the world. Man, women combined. Man, let me tell you something, man. Floyd Mayweather makes in a half a, in a, half a fight, which she's made in her entire life. I wouldn't even say half a fight. Floyd Mayweather made in one round in the Pacquiao fight, which she made probably in her whole fucking career. Floyd Mayweather made that shit in one round in the Pacquiao fight. I don't know why these motherfuckers keep trying to do these little slick tricks they do to down one person and up another. And I told you guys, Skip Bayless tried to bait her ass in with that bullshit ass question about Floyd Mayweather. Let me play the question. <laughs> so last time you were here was just before the Pacquiao Mayweather fight and you picked Manny to win the fight. You, you divulged, you're, you're obviously friends with him and, and that camp. How did you see that fight and would you like to see a rematch? Now. You see the shit I'm talking about? You see how Skip Bayless is trying to ease his way into baiting her to say some shit about Floyd Mayweather without trying to make that shit obvious? See, these are the tricks these motherfuckers try to do, man. And I'm telling you, dog, I expose shit like this because me and a lot of other motherfuckers that got common sense that see through this fuckery are going to keep speaking on this shit until this shit stops, man. <laughs> it's not fair that these motherfuckers openly thrash one man and then give another person who has a shaky past herself a past. A past. They're giving her a past. I'm telling you. And, and, and let allowing it to be open season on Floyd Mayweather, man. 
But that shit ain't gonna happen because as long as the fans have a voice, as long as the people who are able to speak up and, you know, bring truth and light to this thing have a voice, we're not gonna allow that shit to go down like that, man. I'm telling you right now. And, and I'm gonna I'm tell you something else that pissed me off, man. This sorry ass motherfucker, Stephen A. Smith, man. He, he, he is a company man for real. He's on his knees for real. Ain't no question about that shit. Let me show you the question he asked her, the first question out the box. Now, shall I, let me go ahead and explain this piece right here. If that would have been motherfucking Josh Gordon from this, the Cleveland Browns, or if had that would have been Ocho Cinco, Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, the first question they would have asked these motherfuckers, you guys remember when Skip Bayless did that interview with Ocho Cinco in the past and he had beef with Ocho Cinco, you guys remember the questions he was asking Ocho Cinco, all the controversial questions, no controversial questions for this chick, same thing with Stephen A. Smith, had it would have been Josh Gordon, the wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns, Stephen A. Smith would have been on there bashing him, asking him all kind of crazy ass motherfucking questions and we all know that shit. But Ronda Rousey, uh-uh, she gets a pass. Let's let's see the question Stephen A. Smith asked her. It's amazing. Ronda, I pre Ronda, I appreciate you being on the show. Thank you and your honor. Um, let me say this to you. I love the fact that you're sitting in my chair because all you did was confirm that that chair is reserved for champions. So thank you oh, for sitting right oh, where thank you're you. sitting. I'm not just now, now listen to this old suck ass motherfucker Stephen A. Smith. Uh, it's un unbelievable, man. This shit is unfucking. This motherfuckers, man. Kill me with the fuckery, man. But l let me finish letting this motherfucker ask his bullshit ass question so we can get into that. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. But but l let me ask you this question. I'm wondering how excited you are about still fighting, being the champion that you are. How excited are you about fighting compared? to when you first started. I'm really interested in knowing your zest for doing what you're doing since you're so successful at it and you're making it look so easy. Huh? That's your first, that's your question to this hoe? That's your motherfucking question? You got all this time to fact up and to get this shit right and to motherfucking put this hoe in her motherfucking place and ask her the question that's supposed to be asked and you come out with that motherfucking softball Stephen A. Smith, man, I'm done with this dude, man. Ticket TV, I'm out. Y'all see the shit these motherfuckers is on, man. But you know what? Let me go ahead. Let me go to a, a, a another another question, man, that, that I want to cover on this shit right quick. I, I just want you guys to see the hypocrisy. Hold on. Perspective. Just a few years ago, Dana White, UFC president, wasn't even sure he wanted to create a women's division. Then November 2012, he signs you, first female UFC fighter. Less than three years later, Rhonda, you are the biggest straw in the highest paid fighter. Not female fighter, fighter. What does that mean to you? The fuckery of these motherfuckers, man. I, like I said, man, you hear this shit? Oh, the highest paid fighter, not female fighter. No, 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 no. We, we're going to put all this shit into in perspective. The highest paid fighter has just now retired. And his name is Floyd Money Mayweather. Get it right or don't get it at all. Ticket TV, I'm out.